Send you Jikage back at it again, bring you my Naruto Mega Chapter 678 review. And man, it's about to go down. We got Kaguya coming back. Kaguya coming back. This was unexpected for me, and I'm gonna tell you what. While I've said repeatedly throughout my reviews, throughout my catalog of reviews, that I want to see Kaguya and I need Kaguya to come back, I didn't expect her to make a return appearance simply because I thought Masashi was going to do that thing that he did with Shisui where you know people continually mention the name, continually mention how good this person was relative to other people but never really show them in action in the manga. So I thought Kage was just going to be a name, a couple pictures here and there in the manga and then that'll be it and you defeat Madara and then boom manga over or manga goes sometime into the future to show what Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura has become, and then manga over. But no, we got Black Zetsu giving that stab in the back, telling Madara in so many words that your arrogance is your downfall. Now think about this for a moment. Naruto and Sasuke came back, transformed, in order to put up a fight against Madara. It's not like they came back and then totally outclassed Madara. So if they was having this much trouble against Madara, how much trouble will they have against someone who has the power to manipulate Madara without Madara even realizing it. Even though Madara is already so powerful with two fully developed Renegon eyes, right? I mean, Kaguya was basically pulling an Amatsukami on Madara without having to wait 10 years or whatever in order to activate an ability. That's basically what she was doing through Black Zetsu. So how would Naruto and Sasuke compensate for the new villain, the new antagonist? Or what one could call the original antagonist of the whole Naruto fictional timeline and universe. Because even though Jubi is an antagonist now, Jubi only went crazy because somebody stole the fruit in the first place, which was Kaguya. So will the Sage of Six Paths have to come back once again and maybe lend even more of a hand, more of a direct hand in defeating Kaguya? Or will something happen where the Sage of Six Paths brother appears? Because even though they said he had a brother and he died or whatever, they didn't really go into detail about how he died. Or will the sons of the Sage of Six Paths come and manifest themselves within Naruto and within Sasuke and say in so many words, Here, let me show you how to use my, my chakra, my life energy. Let me show you how to really use this Renegon that you have of mine. I know they already reincarnated within Naruto and Sasuke, but they really haven't said anything in the same way that Miyato reappeared, Kushina reappeared, the Sage Six Paths reappeared. On top of that, what would they do with the Jubi Tree? What would they do with the Evans Tsukuyama? Now Sasuke gave a little foreshadowing, I believe, that hey, if this Jutsu was started by a Renegon, it can be cancelled by a Renegon, most likely. So he'll probably figure out some way, if he realizes how to utilize his Renegon fully, to cancel the Jutsu known as Infinite Tsukuyomi. On top of that, you gotta remember that Kaguya, since she's so much powerful than Madara, there are probably some abilities that she can use that Naruto and Sasuke have never heard of. Maybe she has some abilities that she can use that even a Sage of Six Paths didn't even know about. Because even though he's the one that created Ninshu or what have you, I'm sure being that Kaguya was the original person with the power that, has, that she has some things up her sleeve that no one knows about. And that will basically make us <laughs> drop our jaws after seeing it in the manga. So all in all, I thought it was a very good chapter. A very unexpected turn of events. I thought that Masashi was going to just have Kaguya be a powerful reference within the manga without ever showing her in action for an extended period of time, a la Shisui Uchiha. But it turns out she would make a return and be the true antagonist of Naruto. So let's see how Naruto and Sasuke step up in power once again. See if they will have the aid of the Sage Six Pounds once again, or his sons, or maybe his brother, somehow, some way. don't know. What did you think of the chapter? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more Naruto Mega reviews. Until next week, send you Jikage, baby. And that's how we do it.